I'll be talking about Gustave Le Gray. Um, Gustave Le Gray was a French photographer from, uh, he was born 1820 and died 1884. On the right you will see a self-portrait of Gustave Le Gray. Um, this was a self-portrait. It was an albumint print. Um, uh, Gustave Le Gray, uh, one of his uh, more in famous quotes is, Since its first discovery, photography has made rapid progress especially as regards in the instruments employed in its practice. It now remains for the artist to raise it to its proper position among the fine of the fine arts. Um, I think it's a very important quote uh, because he talks about how art, um, photography should be art. Um, and then another important quote I put on here is the strength of the framing, the larger format, and the sensitivity and sharpness of the color is a sub, sub subtle of the light whose slightest vibrations he captured make these absolute reference standards of a genre that others such as Quentin and Famine would later expand upon. I, uh, by Sylvie Albuenas, I think this is also an important quote because you see how people perceived, um, Gustave Le Gray at the time. Um, Gustave Le Gray was born in 1812 in uh, the outskirts of Paris in the year La Belle, France. Uh, he was an only child. He studied painting in the studio of Paul Delaroy. Um, Le Gray outlined a new version of William Henry's um, wet call edition process calling for the paper negatives to be waxed before use to make a sharper image. Le Gray started, uh, began to experiment with photography in 1847 when he um, made his first de de daguerreotype. Uh, he was an influential teacher as well as a gifted cal calotypist. Le Gray trained a number of significant photographers including Olympia Aguado, Maxime Ducamp, Henry Lesec, and they all promoted the photography as means of artistic expression rather than the mere rec record of actuality. Um, Le Gray uh, traveled through Europe after failing in France. Le Gray died in Cario, Egypt in 1884. In, eight, in 1851, he became one of the first first of five photographers hired for the mission to uh, heliograph to do document French mo um, monuments and buildings. In that same year, he helped found the Society, the Society of Heliograph, the first photographic organization in the world. Le Gray published an exposition on photography, which went through four editions, um, one in 1850, one in 1851, one in 1852, and 1854. In 1855, Le Gray opened a studio, at the time became an official photographer for, Na for Napoleon III. He became a successful, successful portrait, and Le Gray um, the business was so poorly managed that he ran into debt and had a closed studio. He abandoned his family in France and fled the country. He began to tour the Mediterranean in 1860 with writer Al Alexander Dumas. They crossed paths with Giuseppe Garibaldi. Um, Le Grace striking pictures of Giuseppe and Polinero under the Sicilian bombing became instantly famous throughout Europe. Dumas abandoned Le Gray and other travelers in Malta. As a result of a conflict about a woman, Le Gray went to Lebanon, then Syria. Um, in Alexandria, the, he photographed Henry Dior's and the future Edward VII of the United Kingdom. 
he wrote, oh, no, no, no. He established himself in Cario in 1864. He remained there for the for the next 20 years of his life, earning a modest living as a uh, art professor. And in 18 67, he sent pictures to the Universal Exhibit that didn't really catch anyone's attention. Um, the Grays, um, Fontana Blue was a ongoing project that he did. Um, his photographs of Fontana Blue are some of the first works he made with with these um, wax paper negatives. Um, Legray took the photograph of the brass uh, burrow and the uh, old growth region of the Fontana Blue that was home to many of the fo um, forest's oldest and grandest oak trees. Unlike more actively maintained um, areas of the Fontana Blue, brass the blue had been allowed to grow wild and burned at disarray served as an inspiration to painters. Uh, like the best of the greats were, the photograph is both documentary and relatory. Le Gray's Fontaine Blue photos were made during the same period as his signature seascapes. Both bodies of work show how the photographer um, is working at the peak of his abilities to produce images that um, unprecedented quality. So these are the f a few of the forests of the Fontana Blue. Uh, these are some of the more maintained parts um, instead of like the brass burrow that is let um, is allowed to grow wild. Um, This is the camp at Chalons. In 1851, Emperor Napoleon III uh, commissioned Le Gray to document the inauguration of the summer training camp for the army of the Chalons. The photographs were indeed to celebrate French military might be to be included in the albums and be given the uh, given to generals. Le Gray kept his distance from maneuvering soldiers in order not to get underway and prevent dust from disfiguring the the damp plate he inserted into the camera um and then we have pictures of the sh uh he was standing far away because he had just recently put um his a damp plate he inserted into his camera just before exposure to emphasize and isolate the silhouettes of the men in the, on horseback. He apparently asked two soldiers near them to lie down. Um, this was still when he was in France. Um, these are the bodies of water that he worked on. Um, his seascapes. Uh, because of limitation and photographic um, materials at the time, it was extremely difficult to capture both sea and sky in a single image. By combining two negatives, one of the uh, foreground and another on the clouds, Legray triumphed and used the, the use of combination printing for these pictures. So there were two different plates and they... Combined, he combined them to make one whole picture, uh, which was um, sea view, clouds, cloudy sky, um, rig upon the water, and the great wave, um, as well as uh, groups of ships departing, and the port of Sete. 
Um, these are the, uh, In 1859, Legray was famous, but the portrait studio he had set up with borrowed money and neglected to pay um, uh, made his creditors very angry. So he created a series of pictures of Paris that made um, that glorified the city as no one else had done. In this composition, he waited until striking shadows. And that falls across um, many of the pictures. So here are some of the pictures that we're taking in Paris. And you can see all the shadows. Um, here are some of his portraits that he took. This is Giuseppe Garibaldi. Um, this photo became very popular, um, possibly to escape his financial woes. Le Gray accepted the invitation of novelist Alexander Dumas to photograph sites they would visit during the extended sailing trip on the Mediterranean. Um, the great revolutionary Garibaldi was in the midst of liberating from the Bourbon rule. Garibaldi. Ex um, opposed to represent um, barely content kings in favor of developing a kingdom in Italy, which was ruled by more liberal northern monarchy. The red bearded Garibaldi made his red shirt a symbol of revolution. Here, he poses confidently for the camera, which he regards with a forthright um, curiosity. The portrait was frequently reproduced in the form of engraving, thus publicizing his enterprise. And this is the last picture of in Egypt, abandoned by Alexandre Dumas on the island of Malta. Le Gray went first to Lebanon and then to Egypt where he settled. This displaced col colossal column of the Great Hall of the Temple of Umam the Egyptian sun god was a favorite subject for the 19th century photographers, but none produced a view as dramatic as Le Gray. He waited until the light slashed diagonally across the principal axis of the temple, creating a bold light and shadow. No person is visible to... Uh, in the picture but the columns are 45 feet tall and look so short <laughs> it was an album print and it was printed in 1867 um it's the temple of the sun god uh his significance was that he created he um improved the wet color process it made it more portable and easier for people who are um on the go and need a print um and he was one of the founders of the society of uh helograph and he was an art and photographer mentor and a big influencer of his time um